all these false prophets that paraded themselves all over nigeria they started by saying tinibu will not win tinibu will not be sworn in then after they declared him winner they now say he will not be sworn in they now say on the day of swearing in he will be arrested and obasanjo has prepared soldiers to take over government nonsense and you are talking rubbish because you see yourself be settled because you have opportunity to get one appointment you are favoring by the government government is not a favor even their dig their, their minds is corrupted and that is why we keep saying calm down let's teach you bible you call us heretics let ignorance disgrace you before the world but in the name of the lord jesus that mocking spirit is cut off in the name of jesus christ You devil of darkness a joint hand to bring darkness over nigeria god cost those people i'm not the one only speaking go and check the way god said any hand joining hand to do wickedness god said it shall not be well with the wicked this particular video of dr ebedamina caused another misreaction in nigeria Dr. Ebed Damina came out to criticize all the pastors, all the prophets, all the apostles who saw vision to say that Peter Obi is going to be the president of Nigeria, that Tinibu is going to do this, and uh, once Tinibu is in power after six months, uh, so just we come to take him, or the petition over the court of appeal over the supreme court he will lose the case a lot of videos and prophecies and prayers were raised they said delay is not denial but dr ebe damina did not see it in that angle and said that hey pastors are deceiving your people god is not a politician god is not in supreme court these are just main things for human god don't play politics and he decided to educate people and let's watch this particular video together. We'll be right back to do some messages to it. Praise you again. If you don't say what I tell you to say, then I will destroy you, the lion. And I say, Lord, no. Now I am coming out to be given the message. All these false prophets that paraded themselves all over Nigeria, they started by saying Tinibu will not win. Tinibu will not be sworn in. Then after they declared him winner, they now say he will not be sworn in. They now say on the day of swearing in, he will be arrested. And Obasanjo has prepared soldiers to take over government. Nonsense. Even their, dig their, their minds is corrupted. And that is why we keep saying, calm down. Let's teach you Bible. You call us heretics. Let ignorance disgrace you before the world. Because there's a group of there's a theology that they parade around called seven mountains that the church must take over entertainment take over politics take over government and that is why the confusion that happened during the election happened that confusion exposed the church all these false prophets that paraded themselves all over nigeria they started by saying tinibu will not win tinibu will not be sworn in then after they declared him winner they now say he will not be sworn in they now say on the day of swearing in he will be arrested and obasanjo has prepared soldiers to take over government nonsense even their dig their, their minds is corrupted and that is why we keep saying calm down let's teach you bible you call us heretics let ignorance disgrace you before the world some churches fasted and prayed for tinibu to die the man is your commander in chief deal with that that's how when buhari entered office a lot of christians began to say he will die they even said when he went to outside the country that he will not come back alive christians churches that he will die the man did eight good years and went home younger than when he became president to show that the lord is upright and there is no unrighteousness in him god is not a killer and with these false prophecies they have destroyed the faith of many people because many people fasted and prayed sincerely that tinibu should die and their god traveled so now if you ask them to pray they are not sure god will answer 
they have eroded their faith they have shipwrecked their faith because of lack of understanding that there is a difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of this world how many of you remember I told you that this thing God is not involved did I tell you that it's a contest it's a competition amongst men and in a competition men set the rules in a competition men draw the border lines in a competition men judge the competition and in a competition men announce the winner of the competition true or false anything that a man will set the rule cannot be god god is not a man your elections the rules are set by men your constitution is drawn by men it's not bible it's not god it's not god it cannot be god god does not install presidents god does not install presidents men vote who should rule them there's a process that is set by men and men will determine who wins and men will announce didn't you go to school it is called a democracy what is a democracy in social studies government of the people for the people by the people how did you bring god in the government of god is a theocracy you didn't hear what i said the government of god is a theocracy that is god's government over his people there is no theocracy anywhere in the world it is democracy all over the world Amer that is why preachers in america kept saying donald trump will win and kept saying it in fact one woman of god was on television praying oh god oh god send Afri african angels send african angels to come to america and make donald trump we look at caricature disgracing themselves disgracing themselves men and women of god embarrassing themselves before the world before unbelievers before other religions making a caricature of themselves allowing themselves to be overtaken by lust and, and ambition and greed all of us want nigeria to be better including myself i want a better nigeria i want a great nigeria i want us to have the best of, of government i want us to have development i desire it so greatly but it can never be the kingdom of god it can never be it can never be the kingdom of it is still the kingdom of men it is still operated by men and anything that men do can never be perfect i'm teaching here anything that men are involved anything that it is orchestrated by men within the within the, 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 the within the within the the boundaries of men it can never be perfect i have a reason why i'm talking like this somebody even said that if tinibu becomes president we should amputate his leg he said amputate my leg we're looking for him somebody even say he's a prophet if tinibu becomes president of nigeria there is no god in heaven look at that that charlatan that's a charlatan that's what a charlatan some churches even pastors stood on the pulpit and say vote for this man this man is the will of god let's fast and pray how can a pastor be partisan the pulpit is not a place for politics the pulpit is a place it is the pillar and the ground of the truth of the gospel you don't use your pulpit except you don't know what the gospel is and i don't blame that many of them don't know what the gospel is they don't know what the gospel is and you are talking rubbish because you see yourself be settled because you have opportunity to get one appointment you are favoring by the government how can you people are so wicked calling yourself a leader when you are a leader for your stomach sell nigeria somebody you 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 people selected see what you are teaching the children that is coming before you as an elder so what you may god use that character you do let human being do those things to your children people like you people can present us in the whole world that we are useless and you people I'm open your mouth and making news elder man like you open your mouth and making news and all the whole country are crying feeling pain and somebody come out the boldness God will judge all of you we thought that by this time around that we will start to repair the damages that we have been causing since 1960 I thought when somebody is glowing you will be learning some mistakes and try to collect the mistake but nigeria are not glowing out of mistake rather they are coronating the mistake and coronating the the corruption the pain 
of the youth that own the country you don't feel anything because they are giving you your own share from one uh, local government or from one asolok you are getting your allocation you carry more pole walking around it's high time everybody must be humble to build the future of our own children you see elder people that call themselves father talking like talking like abulos aburo are in all piweka when you saw everything very clear no one owned this country look at a small boy we all wear caribas men that are matters in the whole world are living and existing Nigeria going down going down in every blessed day other nation has seen us as nothing there are people wondering why the church or church leaders should be bothered about governance or politics that is very absurd very ridiculous it is as ridiculous as asking why a person should be interested in the sanity of the pilot that is to fly him in an aircraft or why a person should be concerned about the expertise of the surgeon that is to perform a major operation on him or why a person should be worried about the health and hygienic status of the caterer that serves him food please understand this anyone who is not concerned about those things that concern his existence is a concern himself the silence of good people is more wicked than the actions of bad people evil thrives when good people are silent and most times silence is taken to mean consent no one is permitted to keep silent when their destiny is being decided you don't keep quiet or silent when your destiny or your welfare is being decided to keep quiet when your destiny is being decided like in a political setting is to end with an outcome that may not be desirable now why should the church church people church leaders and the society at large be interested in politics and governance why should we be interested in who heads the government first government make policies and, pol and policies affect the society and the church is part and parcel of society so everyone in society the church and her members inclusive are at the receiving end of government policies second government's failure places a high burden of care on the church as a religious and charity institution for example when people can't pay their children's school fees house rent etc it is not the government they go to for help it is the church they come to when a person's loved ones get kidnapped the church most times is their first point of call for prayer and emotional support and someone says the church should not be interested government's inability incapacity and irresponsibility leading to insecurity of lives and properties of the citizens places a high burden of responsibility on the on the society at large the church inclusive government's policies and actions listen to this that forbid religious freedom and facilitate religious persecution and intolerance especially against christians and the church pose very great existential threat to the church they are against the very life of the church aimed at reducing or positive possibly eliminating the christian population in nigeria and somebody say we shouldn't be interested many have rapidly forgotten what happened in 2015 there was the presidential candidate of the coalition with a track record that didn't appear favorable his speeches and actions before then were contrary to religious freedom many were warned of what was coming but it fell on deaf ears the youth then campaigned including civil societies and others they claimed that insecurity will be handled corruption will be handled etc what was the outcome escalation 
of religious intolerance and the persecution of the church went to another level. According to Stephanos Foundation, headquartered in Jos, between 2016 and 2021, over 5,878 people, mainly Christians, in Christian territories were killed by terrorists in terrorist attacks. Between 2016 and 2021, over 10,715 people, mainly Christians in Christian territories again, were killed by hesmen as against 3,041 killed between 2010 and 2015. See the difference. Between 2016 and 2022, there were 11,362 recorded cases of kidnapped persons across the country. Many more are beyond record. This is against minimal, insignificant record of kidnapping before that time. Today, some people say church should not be bothered. Now that you have watched this particular video, I want to hear from you in the comment section. What do you think about what Dr. Ebe Damina said? What do you guys think? Or do you also think that, okay, there are some prophecies that might take a year to achieve now that we all know that, okay, Tinibu is the president. You know, there were some pastors and prophets who said Peter will be ordained by God. An evil spirit, a wicked spirit that was wearing his face. Meaning that he doesn't even know what he's doing while he's running for president. He's being used. A wicked spirit of darkness. And this spirit was a mocker. Today, when I was praying, as I was praying, the spirit called him a name. I was surprised. Because he said, the jackal is cut off. I said, jackal? I thought I knew the meaning of jackal. I had to go into the dictionary to find what is a jackal? I said, why do they call him a jackal? What is a jackal? It means a trickster. A swindler. And one that operates in behalf of another for the purpose of deception. That was one. So in the spirit, you will have no country. He said you will have no country. Then in the spirit, I saw the third one. He was afraid. He was afraid of losing. He didn't want to lose. But he was almost scared of winning. I said, Lord. Then he says, pray. I said, God of heaven, give him wings to fly. when it comes to elections because of the sensitivity of you know the, some of our, our position because I said they're all they're all children spiritually so I try to not but if I see something that I've seen. I cannot say I didn't see it. Do you understand? His name is in the Bible. Now Peter B lost the election, the rank, the election in his head. Boing! And at the same time, he went to Supreme Court, they rank the judgment. Boing! And he went to Court of Appeal. That was a show game. It was Peter Bina dragging the judge's hands from his neck. I said, okay, I give it to Tinibu, let him rule. Don't suffocate me. Tinibu now said, let Peter be brief. Now that he give up his power. Anyway, I want to hear from you in the comment section. Do you stand for what Dr. Ebe Damina said about pleasure men and God when it comes to politics? Or do you also believe what your 
pastors, apostles, bishops, archbishops, and prophets said during an election. There are times and moments where God decides to arise. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can imagine that many of you have read, watched all kinds of prophecies online, and I respect the prophetic, we're a prophetic ministry. But hear me, I can tell you, it is written, is greater than I saw. It's what we call the purposes of God. And there is what we call the plan of God. You must understand these two things. If God's purpose is for you to get to Lagos, his plan can be that you take a flight. But if something happens with that plan, his purposes still remain the same, even though the plans can change. Listen carefully. Are you hearing what I'm telling you now? If you do not understand the mystery of God's purposes and God's plan, your Christian experience will make you look like you are not a powerful Christian. Are we together? When God told Moses, go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. He told him, he said, remember, the heart of Pharaoh will be hardened. Don't think you're just going to meet him. And then he will say, all right, be on your way going. It will not be as easy as that. But find courage that I have pre-informed you. So when he stood before Pharaoh and Pharaoh began to act funny, he calmed down, he went back and got another strategy. After 10 plagues, the most important thing is that there was an exodus for the nation of Israel. Are we together now? I'm saying this because many, many believers most times are not discerning. Our ways, you see, God's ways are not our ways. He can grant you access to his purposes, but you must be discerning enough. Minimize unnecessary uh, commenting on things you do not understand. If you have handed over this nation to God, find rest. What is your take about this? I want to hear from you in the comment section. So far, so good. Tinibu have been president for almost about six months now. What is your take about his presidency? Do you have hope in the next four years to come? What is your life in his hands? Do you believe that it's really ordained by God? Do you also believe that pastors should not be involved in politics, that only the Muslims imam should be involved in politics? Remember that the imams and all Muslims are the ones ruling the politics right now. That we Christians should always be a subject to them while they are predicates. What do you think about these old issues? It's time. It's time to wake up our spirit as the obedient people. Wake up the true spirit of the Nigerian person. I read an article and I would like to read this article. Some people said to me that Prophet Buba. Why are you still talking? I am still talking until it's over. I will not keep silent. Anybody that will join hand to bring darkness over Nigeria, God curse those people. I'm not the one only speaking. Go and check the way God said. Any hand joining hand to do wickedness, God said it shall not be well with the wicked the mind of god is for righteousness the mind of god is to free the oppressed but let me read in english but you will hear it in answer that a sitting governor in nigeria governor ganduji of kano could boldly gather islamic clerics and say that one nang to be a nang yaki nena jihadi Look at what he said. Gandhi just said, history will not repeat itself. And there will be no annulment this time around. Referring to the Muslim, Muslim ticket of Abiola. He gathered all sheikhs and Islamic clerics in Kano. Listen to the person who convened that meeting. This is what he said. We trace the history to Tinubu. Has always desired for as well as work. For a Muslim Muslim ticket. He ensured Muslim Muslim ticket between Ribadu 
and a Yoruba Muslim. He also heavily supported the Abiola Kingibe Muslim Muslim ticket. Now, I will give you a few minutes listening to the video. Anyway, if you watch this video to this very moment, God bless you. I can't just go without me appreciating all our viewers out there. For all our returning subscribers who tend to time come to watch our content, like our videos, comment their thoughts. God bless you for sharing our videos. I love you guys. Without you, there is no plan B TV. And if it's the first time I'm coming across our video, please take a moment of your time to subscribe or follow. Depends on the platform you are watching it from. If you do, please turn on your notification bell so that you wouldn't miss out any of our official posts. Until we meet again, stay tuned, Plan B TV. Peace out. Everybody make you wake up to Plan B TV. Give you the news as in the heart of you. Subscribe and give them your thumbs up. And then go give you the updates. And the new blocks in the town. Now they go give you the gist though. Now they go give you all the news. Cause it's kind of weather you need all the fun. No. I said, now nah, who they is on a plan B TV? Plan B TV. I said, now nah, who they is on a plan B TV? Plan B TV. I said, now nah, who they is on a plan B TV? Plan B TV. Plan B TV. Plan B TV. Plan B TV. Hey, hey. Plan B TV.